Hello Valdive Senior College, Jordan Steele John here, one of the Green Senators for WA. Thank you so much for inviting me to share some thoughts with you about the importance of the inclusion and empowerment of disabled people on this International Day of People with a Disability. Before I go any further, let's acknowledge that we are all together on First Nations land, um, over which sovereignty has never been ceded. Really important to pay respects to elders past and present. Um, I'm talking to you from Boru, Perth, um, on Noongar Wujuk Buja. Um, now, I am currently the only physically disabled person to serve in the Australian Senate. Um, and in that role, I work with disabled people in WA and across the country. It's a wonderful, wonderful part of the work that we do. To be a disabled person and to work with disability community across the space is an absolute privilege um, and an honour. One of the most exciting parts about International Day for me is the opportunity that it gives disabled people to come together to discuss what it means to be a disabled person in 2023 in Australia, the challenges, the opportunities, the successes together, um, and particularly to discuss what does it actually mean to put empowerment and inclusion into practice. One of the parts of being a disabled person and the disability community that gives me the most joy, the most energy, um, is our ability together to collaborate on different ways of understanding and thinking about what it means to be disabled. And one of those ways of thinking about what it means to be disabled that I'm really drawn to and is a lot of the basis of the work that the Greens do and that we do um, as an MP's kind of team um, is this concept of disability pride. The idea that to be a disabled person Yes, it may mean that you are subject to discrimination and ableism and very many negative experiences created by the barriers that exist in society. In those moments, as you react and respond to those uh, negative experiences, rather than turn inward uh, and feel as though you are broken, um, and lesser as a person. Disability pride gives you the opportunity to recognise that that moment may well be bad, upsetting, a bit <laughs> The cause, if you like, of that experience is though the barrier that exists in society, not something that is lesser about you. It gives you the opportunity to understand that what you're experiencing is a combination of that barrier and your impairment and that you can, as part of a broader community, collectively work together to bring down that barrier uh, to create an inclusive society and to celebrate the identity of being a disabled person and the community that you're part of. Some 4.4 million people, some 20% of the population who are disabled people, all with different experiences, all with different ideas of what it means to be a disabled pe person, different life goals, uh, different ways in which they want to see the world change, but all bound together by a common desire to create a, that more accessible and inclusive community and to challenge the negative stereotypes that exist around what it means to be a disabled person in Australia. And I just find that so exciting to have the opportunity to be part of a community of millions of people who want to rework the world and the society that we live in to make it better, more fun, more inclusive and more celebratory of diversity, which ultimately is a, such a positive thing. I want to thank you for taking an interest in celebrating the International Day of People with a Disability today um, and to encourage you to continue to engage with what it means to make your classroom and your school more accessible and inclusive. If you're a disabled person watching this uh, video right now, know that in the parliament, in the media, um, in all of the spaces of Australian society, there are disabled people, more of us than ever before, who are working together to create that more inclusive society, that our rights as disabled people matter. They are not 
optional extras. They are fundamentals that should never be violated. And that when we work together as disabled people, we are powerful. We can get things done together and we can create that more inclusive community for everyone. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.